Good day everyone, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, so last time we dealt with the plague bearers by killing them basically. And today we are going to do a quest that I actually forgot. We have Mud Hunt while trying to find mud while trying to find the muddy Mike Durbin for Arthur Kilpatrick. You heard an answering machine message that said he's headed downtown to the Skyline Apartments 2A, the residence of our Mr. Milton. Even though Arthur has cut you loose, maybe you can get some money for finding him. So Skyline Apartments 2A, which is the second floor. Uh, so let's go there. And check it out, I guess, because since it is a quest that we have, and we will probably get XP, I'm not really worried that much about the money because I don't know we have enough I guess I'm not really buying stuff which maybe I should buy some ammo and s I don't know but yeah I mainly use melee weapons in this game although guns have proved useful as seen in the fight with the plague bear which I failed a lot of times and I actually defeated him with a gun so I don't know We'll see. So let's go to the second floor. These, elevator eleva these elevators do not feel safe. Um, okay. Can I pick the lock or do I need blood buff? Anybody home? I do see some items, so nothing in here. An answering machine. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still hunting for tonight. Meet me at the agreed upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two man job that I am proposing. Okay. Car stereo. Ooh, two car stereos. We can sell those. Um, nothing in here. Maybe there's something on the second floor. Um. Nope. Damn it! When the door is closed by themselves, I always feel like someone's in here with me, you know? I should actually check our quest to be up here. Okay. You went to the Skyline Apartments to look for Muddy, but he hasn't... he wasn't there. Instead, you heard another message telling Durbin and Milton to meet someone at an unknown location across the street from a bar. So I'm guessing the bar they're talking about is the one where the anarchs the anarchs are, so we should go there. Where does it go? Let's see if the guy has some stuff. First of all, I forget his name. Pet Larry? No. Anyway, let's see. Baby girl, you know I got what you need. I need to do some shopping, Larry. Um, he has bullets only. Should I buy some shotgun? Bullets, sure. Okay, I didn't mean to go that way. Honestly bullets honestly bullets cost quite a lot in this game. And I don't know if they're worth that much. You know what I mean? Because I don't know, the armors usually cost a lot the better ones, so I don't know if I should actually buy more bullets. Those will have to do for now. Can I use the phones now? It's too bad I can't take the 
knives and sell them, which I should have sold the car stereos actually. Uh, I'm dumb. My brain is not working today. I'm sorry. So I think we're supposed to go over here, right? The location across this. Maybe it's in one of the buildings. I don't know. Can I enter here? Well, I don't know what the hell happened here. But it's not pretty. Oh, there's some kind of card. Aren't they near the body? Um, oh. I thought that was a cutscene. I'm dumb. Did you see it? The headless corpse? It's kind of hard to miss. You done tore him up. Right in two. Ripped him apart like a rag doll. Who was it? These two guys. The dead guy and Malvern, uh, when they showed up, uh, I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was the other guy? A dead fella called him Muddy. So, this dead guy and Muddy, what were they doing th here? Well, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was waiting when he was late. So, the one guy leaves, you find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Well, that's when the killer, yeah, it's when he showed up. Showed up? One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Then what happened? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear, I saw it. And the dead guy went white, like he'd seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. Well, the killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. Uh, just tore him apart. They did it real slow and made the guy scream. What about the other guy, Muddy? Did he come back? No, he never come back. If you tell anyone that story, they'll lock you up forever. You should leave now. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. Okay. Uh, Carnival of Death. You talk to a bum outside an abandoned warehouse. The scene of the latest grisly murder. The bum witnessed the killing and told you the killer the claws and ripped the victim apart while saying something about revenge. So we saw a card up there, right? So let's, see, let's climb up using these uh, boxes, crates. And we want to take well, the stereo, obviously, because, you know, money. Lucky Star Room Key. Um, you found the shredded body of Milton at an abandoned warehouse, but Durbin was nowhere to be found. You did find the key to the Lucky Star Motel, though. So is the Lucky Star Motel in Santa Monica? I think it is. I don't really remember. I guess we can go to Santa Monica and see. Let's check our quests really quickly. Um, so these two are connected, kind of. And we don't have other quests right now, so I guess we can try and do that. Uh, let's go to the taxi and go to Santa Monica and try to find the motel, I guess. It's in Santa Monica, or isn't it? Wait a second. Lucky Star Motel. No, I don't think it is. I think it's in the Hollywood area. So I guess we should go and speak to LaCroix, actually. Mm. And maybe I can level up something. My melee skill. That's what I should do, maybe. Let's do that. Accept it. Let's try to max it out as fast as we can, kind of. Because, you know, I'm using my axe a lot. And Finally, after doing hell knows how many quests, we'll go and speak to LaCroix. <laughs> I've been neglecting him really, really much. And Officer Chunk works here, apparently. Hey there, Missy. Small world, eh? 
Yep, after that gallery, I, I didn't think I'd be able to get a job guarding a room full of jack squat from the boogity man. <laughs> but then I get a call offering me this sweet night shift slot, and I'm back in a security game. <laughs> well, enough about my lucky break. You uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Missy? Yeah, I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? What do you think, genius? Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Have a yeah, good one. Uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Did you say Chunk? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days at the station. Stationary, that was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids, no skating in the parking lot. <laughs> that was me. Right, be seeing you, Chunk. Okay. I don't even know what to say about him. <laughs> I don't honestly. Um, why are you sitting at the side of the table and not in the middle? There I you don't are. Know. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Yes, that is most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my person. None. None at all. That is the answer I'm after here. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's end. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Okay. Honestly, I don't really want to help him, but I don't really have a choice now, do I? I'd say yes, sir. Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually. In Napoleon's ranks, there have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kidrid community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Yes, go on. The police are investigating the Danes we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Onkaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Onkaran Sarcophagus. What do you need me to do? You have three objectives. One. I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Danes' arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence, so be careful what you bring home with you. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Yes. Good. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Well, I'm not going to tell you anything. Some nonsense about the annex. I didn't listen very carefully. If I may give you a piece of advice, always listen to others' words carefully. Read between the lines. Gauge where you stand with them and who they decry or exalt. The more you know about someone, 
the greater your advantage. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the den. Well, I don't really have any quests to do, so I'm ready to go, Good. I guess. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go, and remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Okay. So, I wonder if we should go and report to the Annex. I mean, we can try, right? Why not? If if we can't tell anything, then okay, we will go to the taxi to Santa Monica and, you know, float away to the ship. Now, am I going to go the right way this time? Or not, I wonder. Okay, I think the bar is this way. I hope so. <laughs> because I get lost. Like everybody knows probably who watched my videos and I'm at the wrong place, god damn it. Why? Why? So this will be kind of a difficult quest I guess. Because we kind of have to be hidden. And we can't really kill people. Although I guess we can drink their blood if nobody sees us, right? And then they will just stand dazed, you know, and not do anything which would be good for us. We'll see, I guess. Sorry, I got the whole city shouting in my ear right now. Oh, I'll have to rant some other night. What's up? Damn, the song. Oh my, very edgy. Okay, then let's go to the taxi, I guess, and drive back to Santa Monica. Since there is not much else we can do right now. And I don't have a lot of blood. Hmm. Well, I guess I won't be really using my powers, so... Back to Santa Monica. Okay, let's go to the beach then. I'm lost. I should go this way, I think. Although, no, I should have used the. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been here, so don't judge me for being lost or whatever. Oh, it's Mercurio. Hey, hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. You look like you're feeling better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that thing. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time is gonna have to do. 
I might need some equipment for this little trip. You only have bullets, but I can sell you stuff, I think, right? Yes, for instance, the stereo. And these pills. The watch. The morphine. And a fancy ring. Awesome. Okay. Let's go. Now, uh, this is kind of the easier way to do this quest. Well, kind of if we will be able to do that. So, the way that I want to do it, basically. I don't know. I can speak words. They're coming out and not forming sentences. So we can speak with this police officer. Oh, Abba, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobs that if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. He didn't tell me this was a formal affair. Jeez. What kind of Woodstick? Don't think we'll at least show dressed up like an investigator or a coast guard guy something. And didn't you ever see Fletch? What are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Enough. We need to do this fast if we don't want to get caught. All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin. But you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you, and no goddamn Fletch photographer brain child. Where do I go? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly dally. In and out, okay? Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Yep, got it all. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay. But you're an idiot still, sounds. I'm not the... This way, she actually see me. Okay, this is the computer he was talking about, probably. Soft, dick comes off, locks locked. Phone box. Right and right. Oops. Wait, was this the wrong password? Oh, I guess I can't really enter the locks, right? Serve. Okay, wait a second. This is the one there. Um, deck cams on. Deck security enabled. Unlock this. 
notebook. It's uh, open. Do I need to start the engines and sound the horn? Maybe. Then the people will leave. So, the prince wants you to investigate the Elizabeth Bain. You need to go to the beach in Santa Monica. Blah blah. We did that. We have eradicated the. Okay, so wait a second. Take the cargo manifest for the ship. Where do I find the cargo manifest? That's the question. Assuming that the manifest is somewhere near. The sarcophagus, but can I go there? <laughs> Without. Okay, they saw me. Or didn't they? Can I drink his blood? to redo all of that probably here forgot where I saved okay this will get the information again so I'll end this episode here everybody we will continue with this quest in the next episode I hope you enjoyed it uh, please like and subscribe if you did and see if you want more videos uh, have a great day and goodbye Thank you.